Hey, howdy, and hi, everybody. It is Crackers, and I'm back here on House Flipper. We are back in the house that was hiding something. We already figured out what that was. And I think last time we left off, we just finished the man cave, which um, I did actually change a couple things. Uh, I just, I moved this picture here because I thought it kind of was great there. Kind of welcomes you into the space. So I put a couple of other pictures on the wall here just to fill up that space. And I actually put up all these crazy pillars because there was just something, well, the whole reason why I came down here was, see those little end pieces? When I was editing, I noticed that I forgot to put those in. And when I was down here, I was like looking at the seams between the two paints and something was just bugging me about it. So I thought, well, what if I put little pillars? So I ended up um, mimicking, well, mirroring this side to that. So I've got, where am I? Oh gosh, I got turned around there. Um, so I've got blue pillars kind of going across there just to kind of separate the little areas. And then I just thought I'd put the paneling up on these pillars for this side. So I thought it kind of looked cool. It makes it a little busier, but I, th I think it looks kind of cool too. So. Those are the little changes I did. I actually ended up adding another plant and a few more pictures in the corner and a safe for all the bullets or something for the guns. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's the, and when I added a lamp too, because I forgot to put one over the table. So I'm, I still really like this. I know a couple of you guys really liked it. So I'm happy about that. Fireplace looks so amazing. Um, I just, yeah, I like the way this turned out. It was my first time trying to use a picture of a fireplace for a fireplace, and I think it turned out really nice. So, anyway, we have lots to do today, guys. We better get cracking up here, because I want to get this place finished and sold today. That is the goal. So, we had placed this kitchen last time. Um... God, I'm, I'm looking at this fridge thinking maybe it needs to be black, but we'll see. We'll see how that sits with me. Um, okay, so I finished painting this place. Um, I ended up painting this back wall black, and I painted this wall white. Now, this is really different for me because I don't like to paint in white, and we never have up till now. So I thought maybe we'll give this a try. I think I'm going to get rid of this bed. Um, it's not a bad bed, but it looks messy and I want to get rid of it. Is the sockets working? Okay, I guess so. So weird that they have a light switch down here. Anyway, blinds are up in the whole place. So, um, hmm. I'm feeling a lot of pressure because uh, Mick told me not to screw this up because he really likes this house so far. <laughs> and I better not mess up the final room. So, eek! I don't know what to do. Uh... I think we should totally go for um, this bed. I think it looks amazing in here and I think Mick would just love it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, so what can we do? Um, I know that there is the black and white. I think that might be probably the only one that would work in here. I don't know if I'll ever do a house with this style. It's so not my style. Oh, uh, let's see. So this one, I don't know much about. Oh, it just has the two colors. So we got yellow, black, kind of a gray blue happening in this house. I kind of, I like everything to flow, so I'm kind of trying to stay, you know. Oh, that looks actually quite pretty, but kind of adding another color to the house so I don't know if I want to do that so guys this was the flower pattern that I knew existed it actually comes with a yellow top I know the white one kind of looks pink actually so you know I'm kind of thinking this might be the best pick for this room I think I'm gonna put the bed yeah some something like maybe I'll put it a little bit closer to the far side there and we'll have more room for furniture on this side and it kind of ties the yellows together even though they're slightly different shades but you know we can only do what we can do here so I would really love 
I've never used the long curtains. Um, I wonder if there is a color that we can use that would match. Probably not. I don't want no gold flowers. All right, guys, I got the curtains in. Just kind of a plain white, so they don't add a lot of color. And then I've just, I've been having a hard time matching this wood color as well. So I ended up just kind of going with the wood, like the cherry color. I'm not, you know, it's not my favorite, but it was really hard to find. Like there's not much in side tables for like to, to match this at all. And there was really no other choices as far as, I mean, I could go with a light wood, but I kind of have the dark stuff going on. I'm really surprised they don't have any black furniture in this game. It's kind of disappointing, but I put a TV up there because I thought, oh, it could be kind of a nice little, yeah, I like it. Um, so we still have to add, like, of course, lots of pictures and plants, and uh, I was thinking that we could maybe put a chair in here just in the corner just to fill up the space because this is actually a pretty big room. You know, there is this yellow one. Let's do that. It's a little bit smaller and it adds a little bit more color in here. So yeah, I think that should be good. Okay, so let me look through and see how we can decorate this thing. All right, I found these cute little black and white lamps. I think they look really good. Will they turn on with the switch? Oh, they do. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. I just put up a mirror here. I used the mirror finished mirror. Um, there is a lot of mirror going on in here, but so I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it. Definitely need a really nice picture for up there. Um, I found some yellow candles. Yeah, actually that looks nice. Um, I thought for sure pictures were gonna be a huge issue. I think I'm gonna put this one over here. Okay, so we've got a few yellow candles. We've got some lamps. Um, we should probably put some sort of a ceiling light in here. Well, they do have a yellow one, so we could maybe get away with that. I'm kind of liking this. This is, I'm liking the yellows a lot, but now this wall over here needs something. I'm wondering, should we take down the mirror and put another picture. Hmm. Let me look through this, guys. Hey, guys. So, I've been fiddling around with these crazy pictures. I put a couple of pictures up there just to add some color to that wall. I put in this yellow ceiling lamp. I don't know if I said that already. And I've been fooling around. Like, I thought, well, this horse picture is not bad. It's not a ton of yellow. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about it, but I've been fooling around with these shelves because they come in a cream that looks yellow. So I was just kind of trying to decide how to arrange this um, because you can fit them together and make these little square pieces, and that could be just decorative on its own is what I was kind of thinking. Uh, but how should I have them all kind of even, or should I... Do them sort of in a diagonal. You know, that's not too bad. I don't mind that so much. Um, I'm not sure this picture's really doing much. I mean, I guess it kind of fills in that corner a little bit, but I think we could probably get away with not having it at all. And then maybe we could just put some plants in. Now, do these come in yellow at all? Orange? No, it's too orange. All right, guys, I added, yeah, so I'm going to just leave that like that, I think. Um, and then I added this picture. It had a little bit of yellow, and it had the same color frame. And then I just put a laundry basket in. have a plant there. Um, I don't know that I want to add much more in here. Um... I mean, we could still, I guess, green it up a bit. There's not really any, like, flower pots that sort of go in here. Well, this is kind of black and white, so let's fill that space in with that. 
And is there anything I could put on those shelves? That's the only other thing I can think of that I could maybe do in here. Well, they do have black and white vases. Well, I don't know. You can't really put much in here. I could put these vases. They kind of look a little lost in there, but I guess it's something. I mean, I think the boxes themselves are pretty good decoration. So, you know, I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good enough for this bedroom. I think we're done. I think it's a cute little bedroom. I like the way it turned out. Really like that picture in here too. I won't notice that the woods don't exactly match. I'm just gonna walk away. Yeah, I think that's good. It kind of, like I said, I do wish they had different yellows. Cause I wouldn't mind that yellow in here a little bit more so. It seems like all these yellows have sort of a green tinge after a while. Maybe once I get more lights in here. Um, okay, so I've been fooling around with the bathroom too and I pretty much have it done. This is what I did in here. <laughs> I just did the black and white theme in here to kind of tie it all together. And I put up some candles. I put up some vases. And I don't know that there is... Um, you know, I could actually put maybe one of those shelves in here. Let's do that. Let's put a couple of shelves because there's one... This... Um, is that going to be okay in here? Let's see. Yeah, we'll add some yellow in here too. So what if we just put one shelf, something like that. We'll do the same sort of, I think, design. And then maybe what we could do is put, do they have toilet papers? Yeah, they do. Oh yeah, I could put some little toilet paper rolls on here. <laughs> there we go. It's decoration in itself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so, oh yeah, maybe we could get a carpet because I bet you they have, yeah, right here, this yellow carpet. It matches the, the lamp. Did I put a lamp in here? No, I didn't. But it matches the lamps in the other parts of the you know what? I think it just like that would be actually perfect. Oh yeah, that's great. I like it. I don't think this room needs much more. Um, we've got a garbage can in here. I put a little bit of the yellow candles. Am I missing something? The lights, I put a sconce up. I think this room is good, guys. I just can't think of... I mean, I don't think there's any sort of curtains we could use. No, it would have to be white. Which, you know what, actually wouldn't look bad because there's a... Yeah, let's do that. There's a black wall, so... Yeah, that looks nice. That finishes it off quite nicely, actually. So yeah, this is the bathroom, guys. I think that's actually pretty darn good. Again, I do wish these yellows kind of matched. So now we gotta fiddle with this room. Oh, I really like this bedroom. I like the way it turned out. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so now in this room here, and I'm leaving these paint colors just because, you know, I might kind of use them. Um, I don't think, I don't know about this, this here, this blue showing, but we're gonna have a door to the basement anyway, I think. So I think I'm done with the tiles. So I'm gonna go sell those. And I, I don't think I'm gonna be painting any more blue, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna leave the silver ice just, just in case. Now what we need is a sofa so let me look through these sofas well guys as far as i can tell we have two choices we can do yellow which no i don't like it we could do the cow patches which would be kind of funky in here um and then there is a black and white version in this 
that might work. It's a bit, it's a bit crazy, but it would be okay. Um, I mean, we're not, there's a TV in the bedroom and then there's the man cave. So I don't think we're gonna bother with a TV in here. So it's just gonna be sort of a, a little bit of a sitting room. You know, I'm kind of feeling these cow patches. I just think they look really cute in here. I still don't know how to set this up. I found a white coffee table though that will kind of go with it once I decide. I put a little white desk in here and I put a computer up. Oh, I could still buy a computer too. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Do we have enough room for, a, I bought a, an espresso machine. Uh, I don't know that I want to put a microwave in here. I mean, we could, we could put one right there, but I put a cooktop over here and I put one of those new kitchen racks. So I think that's probably pretty good, but I do want to put more furniture. Like I want to have stuff on the walls here. So we need some, let's see what else we can find here for little cabinets. Is that the one I put in the bedroom? Oh, that sure is nice. Would that fit in this space? No, I think it's too big, isn't it? Darn. Oh, we could put it over here though. You know what? I kind of like that over here. Yeah, that adds something over there. Okay, so let's move this. I'm just going to put you in the doorway there. Because I want something, a, probably a bookshelf then. Something really tall. That's not too bad. That isn't too, too bad. That would actually fit really nicely right there though. I'm going to throw a door on this basement because this is throwing me off here. There we go. At least now the color is not going to throw me off. Okay. Okay. So how are we going to do this? This is really weird. And so we need something over here too. It's going to be all cabinets everywhere. <laughs> um, and I changed the fridge to black. I felt, well, not that it looks black to me, but I'll rearrange the furniture a bit, guys. Like I really like these black and white chairs. It's about the only things that I see that looks really good so i thought maybe i could get away with kind of putting a lamp there and that sort of fills up that wall uh i don't think that there's a small little side table that i could use you know what there was though under cupboards hang on a second because when i was looking for the bedroom stuff i saw a little cabinet that came in black and, but nothing else comes in black. Is it this one? Yes, it is this one. So maybe we could get away with this little guy beside it. I mean, I know this is white, but I think we can get away with that. And I think this seating works. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Um, I really wanna, I was thinking maybe I could put a table instead of a cabinet over here. Cause then I will use, okay, hang on a second here. I just wanna make sure, cause I'm gonna use, uh, let's see here. Was it this one that came in white? Yeah, okay. So I think we're gonna use that one over there. And then what we could do is use, there's these, it's kind of more gray. Like this, this table's too big. Um, the only other one that comes in black, like that's just a dark gray, is this one. Comes in black and white and it comes in all black. I thought we could put that here because it doesn't stick out too much. The other table does. Now, should we do all black or, you know what? I kind of want to do all black. Yeah, we can get away with that because that matches that. So that should be good. Now we could put a mirror up here, I think. And then that way, why? Oh my goodness. You always have to go back to this all to bring up. 
Hmm. Just wondering if I should change this now to the black and white. It might tie together a little bit better. So let's try that. Um, yeah, I think that should be all right. There'll be enough of the black, I think. My gosh, there's a lot of mirror going on in this place. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now for decorations. All right, so I just put a couple of vases up and some, they're supposed to be black boxes, but they're not really. Uh, I think that's about all that, I mean, there's some candles. I feel like we're just always using the same stuff, but it's what we have. I'm sure they're gonna add more, but for now, it's what we have. We could probably put a couple of things on the coffee table just to add something, I think, to the middle here. Again, don't have a lot to choose from. But I think, yeah, I think this is coming together nicely, though. Pictures are going to kind of bring it all together. I'm just wondering, like, I could have... Uh, could I have painted anything a different color in here? There is a lot of yellow, but, you know, the way the walls go, I just don't know that... Like, if there was a definitive... I guess I could make it. Like I could put a pillar in or something and really divide the space and maybe paint in here a different color. But I don't know if I want to do that. All right, yeah, I built out these walls. Just I just put one extra wall on the end just to sort of divide the space but still keep it open. I moved the mirror. I kind of wasn't digging that whole look. I already did that in the other house. I just put this over here. I put this picture here, which I think works really nicely with that stuff anyway. Um, I'm going to be struggling for pictures in this place. I can tell you all that right now because there's not a lot that goes with this yellow. It's kind of a challenge. So I'm just kind of, well, that might be all right. Yeah, that'll be good in kind of the kitcheny area. I don't know what to put there. Definitely think I'm going to have to, yeah, try and go get into the greens I guess I mean we can reuse some of these we're gonna have to because we really don't have much to to choose from here so what was the other one that we used in the bedroom which one was that now something like that oh that's so tiny though well we could use it over here I guess I put some hooks in this little shoe cabinet here but kind of not sure I like it. Like I could probably put something nicer there, you know what I mean? Hmm. I mean, we could do something like that, I guess. It's not great, but... Oh, goodness. Okay, so what... Oh, that actually would probably look okay in here. I don't think we're going to bother with those hooks. Yeah, I think we'll just do something like that instead. Okay, so what was that picture that we used in the bedroom? Oh, it was this one. See, now this one doesn't really go in here at all. I think I like the sunflower one better. Yeah, I think I like that one better in here. You know, it's... It's not bad. I'm kind of glad that I painted the black in there just to kind of break it up a little bit. So there's a lot of yellow going on in here. So, and once again with the curtains, I guess we'll just use the white. So let's, I'm going to throw up some curtains because it takes a bit of time here. So I don't know why I keep checking to see if something's changed. We'll just do white. All right, curtains are in. It helps break up the yellow a little bit at least. I was hoping maybe I could get a curtain over that thing, but it probably would have looked silly anyway. And I can't, so there is that. Uh, I should get rid of this light and put a different light in there. I think I might use this yellow one in there. I think that would look really nice. This thing is just so huge, and when you step out away from it, it looks like it's outside the room. Yeah, I like that in there. That's, that's good. 
Now, what to do in here? Um, we definitely need some light. You know what I can actually use is, I could have been decorating with more of those sconces, the yellow sconces. That would have looked okay. There's also black and white too. Uh, what was I gonna do with this? I wasn't. <laughs> I, was, I don't know what I was gonna do with this, but I think what I was actually looking for in this department was this thing, yeah. I just thought to light up the picture. Cast a weird shadow. Hmm. Ah, it'll be fine. Okay. Um, what else do we need in here? Okay, so we need lights in here. Now we could go with this one. It is black and white. And it's at least different than the ones that we're always using. Let's see what it looks like. You know what? I think it works in here quite nicely because the lamp is black and white. This thing is black and white. Yeah, I think that's great. Do we have enough light switches? Yeah, we do. Okay, good. Uh, this one seems to be getting controlled by these ones, so that's good. All right, so what are we missing, guys? Oh, a carpet. But good luck there because I don't think there's any kind of black and white carpets. There is the yellow, which, you know, isn't too bad. I think it's probably going to be our only choice, really, honestly. You know, the gray is not bad, but we just really don't have a lot of gray in here. Yeah, guys, I think this is the only thing, really, that we could use if we want to use anything. So let's see if we can buy two and put them together. Hopefully it'll work out okay. Because I don't like it having a gap. Yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, it breaks up the flooring at least a little bit. Okay, guys, I did a little bit more switching around. So I just kind of actually, I moved that cabinet that was over by the stairs. I put this, I put it in the kitchen because I felt like this wall really needed something. And it's sort of a kitchen cabinet type of deal so I thought that would be okay there so then I put that shoe cabinet over there because it was here and it was sort of sticking out so I moved it over here just put a little picture up I moved my little shoe thing here so I could put some hooks up put a little picture to accompany it and then I put this picture over here which I think I have to move over a little bit and maybe go higher yeah, something like that should be okay. And then I split up the pictures that were there into like that space and this space over here. So I think that actually looks pretty good. And then I ended up putting the half walls up or whatever you want to call them, the lintels across here to close this off a little bit more. I was contemplating, like I built out these things too to sort of divide this and I was contemplating putting them all the way across, but I think it might close it off too much. It might look cool because this is sort of like that. Um, I just don't know if I want to go through the effort of doing it and then not liking it and taking it all down. But, you know, other than, like, I'm not crazy about this color in here, but it's not bad. I wish we had a few, you know, better pictures because I think it would really help in a few spots. But I think this is actually turning out pretty good. I, I really, um, I'm really liking it. Like it is a lot of yellow. I tried painting these things black, but it just, I don't know, something about it. It just didn't look quite right. So I went back to yellow. But I think it's, it's okay. I mean, considering what we have, like I think it's looking all right. Again, I wish the carpeting kind of match a little better. I really wish we had more black and white options, but it's pretty dark in this little area, but I think it's, I think it's all right. Um, oh, you know what? Now, now that I did that though, the light went off. So it definitely needs a light switch in here. So we'll throw that up really quick. I guess we could just hide it right there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So there's a light switch there. Okay, cool. We do need to put a painting in here too, and again with the black and white. 
I mean, that's not too bad. I think we'll go with that. It has that tiny little bit of that yellowish orange in there. So let's slap that up there. And then I think they may have some smaller white frame pictures that we could put in here. No, I guess these are all big ones. So really, the only thing we could do is maybe just, just slap this up. I could put a curtain in there, but I think this cabinet's going to be in the way, so I don't think I'm going to bother trying. Yeah, I think it's fine with just blinds in there anyway. It's just sort of like a little office space, so... Yeah, I think this is okay. I think this is okay. I think we have most everything except for plants. So let me get some plants going and then I'll bring you guys back and show you what I've done. I found a way cooler fridge. I didn't realize this Japan refrigerator came in like real black. And this we could have used if we had more space because it actually comes in black and black even though it looked really weird yeah like it doesn't look quite black it almost looks like it's a bronzy color but I was just checking to see if there was any other kitchen thing that we could put in but I think oh I forgot we could have put some of these up do they come in black oh, they do but now we have no space for them I mean, we could put one there and maybe what we could do is put a few cans of stuff in here. That is a really big can. What else? Meatballs. Yeah. Who doesn't want some meatballs? Can I put them on the top shelf? Oh, that's right. This thing is a little bit weird that way. All right. Well, we'll just put a couple things. And how about just something short like this a can of tuna there we go we have a couple cans of food in there yeah it's a cute little shelf there okay that works and it kind of fills in that space a little bit and I think that's about it I told you I switched out the this one's just so cool looking compared to the other one the other one reminds me of something you take camping or something so I put up a few flowers here and there. I use the fern a lot, as you can see, because it just fits in places. So I think that kind of finishes it off quite nicely. I was thinking that maybe I could put a, one of those file folder things just to kind of, I don't know, make it look more office-y. But I mean, other than that, oh, we could probably use a clock somewhere, but here, we'll just put this over here. Just to kind of, yeah, give something. So where was that clock? Yeah, the space above the door here was looking kind of bare at one point. So we'll put a clock up there. Guys, there's something I have to do. I'm going to get rid of this picture, even though it does look nice in here. But I want to use this one because it looks so much like my dog. So my dog, Casey. We're gonna put this one up here because it looks nice against the black. Yeah, there you go. This almost looks exactly like her. She is such a doll too. Yeah, that's cute, I like that. And I have one more for my gallery that I can use and that is this one. And it's not very expensive. I didn't even look at the price of that one of my dog. I don't think I wanna know how much it was. But I thought we could put that up there. So when people come in the door, they know they are welcome. Yeah, I think that looks good. Well guys, I think this house is finally done. I have enough plants in here, I think. I have enough pictures. Put a few little things out, some rice, some peanut butter, make it look lived in. You know, I was really happy to be able to finally use that tea kitchen. It works really, really well in here. I was a little worried when we first started this thing because I, the way, I don't know, it was just kind of coming together. Like I didn't know how to lay it out, but this actually turned out really good. I'm quite happy with it. Um, just the perfect size little bathroom, which turned out really good. I love this little computer nook area. I think 
that turned out really great. And the bedroom is a nice size too. I think the only thing I don't like is maybe this cherry furniture. I probably would have did white if I was to redo it. But this bed, I really wanted to use this black and white with the yellow sheet and it just didn't come with white. So um, I just thought maybe the white furniture would look weird with it, but I probably could have went with like maybe a pine color because I think that's the only thing I don't like about this. I just don't like this color in general. I mean, I don't think it looks bad. It kind of blends with the floor and stuff, so it's fine, but I think it might have looked better with white, but I'm not going to change it now. There's a lot of black and white going on in this house, but it's just, it's actually really cool. And then of course there's our man cave. Got to take one more look at this thing. I think it's a really cool little man cave. I am quite happy with the way it turned out. I'm glad I put in these extra pillars. I think it looks really good. So guys, I think that's it. I think that's it for this house. I even went and put some radiators in because I was feeling a little guilty that I took them all down and put nothing up. So I put one here. At least you can put them where it works, which is really quite cool. I put one in the bathroom here, a towel radiator. I was going to put one in the bedroom, but I would have to take down the long curtains. So I just kind of left it. I thought, forget it. It doesn't seem to affect your price. So I, but just to kind of, I don't know. I felt like it, I just felt better putting a couple in. So anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it. I think it's time to sell this thing. I feel like we weren't here very long, but I mean, we're done. I, I just, I think I have lights. I've got switches. I've got carpets, plants. Like, I think we're good to go here. So let's do this guys big bedroom. How sweet. Okay. So we bought this house for 115. I'm always like trying to double my money. So I would have to do 230 if I wanted to double my money, but 202. There are too many rooms. There's a lovely living room in this house. I feel like I want to negotiate. I really do. Is this crazy? 24,000 extra. <gasps> they took it. 24,000, almost $500 extra. We'd be glad to live here. It's the Jan Tart family again. Nice. So yeah, we ended up doubling our money. The profit was 183. Nice, I'll accept that offer. Bye house. All right guys, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for today. Next time, I, how much money do we have now? Let's just have a quick look here. So we got $405,000. That is really cool. So this is the row of houses that I can't wait to get rid of. The boring house actually, I'm excited to see. I don't think I've ever seen it. Um, I don't know if I've seen this one. I think I've seen this one. And then we get into the big houses. What is this one? Oh, okay, just Marriott's house. Family house, un, what does that mean, unwaste? Pink kingdom. I'm pretty, ex this is so small though. There is still a lot of houses here. Wow, okay. Anyway guys, I think next time we will buy a house. Who knows, maybe we'll even buy two houses. But I'm going to leave that for next time because I am done for today. So we did get on that house. I'm really excited. Um, and I still haven't done anything here. So we got to work on this too. But I think we might. We might just end up buying a couple houses next time. But I am tired and I'm off to bed. So we will see you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support on the series once again. If you liked any part of today, please leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you haven't already. Um, anyway guys, thanks again for watching. We will see you guys all next time. Bye.